My name is Robert Johnson, and I'm here tonight to ask my mom about her family photos. And now I'm going to put the microphone on. You're welcome. And now I'm going to turn on the receiver. receiver. And now I'm going to record. Push the recording button. Okay, and I'm going to ask her, like, if she can tell me the stories behind the pictures. Thank you. Yes, Robert, this is my mother, taken when she was a child. And her sister this is a family of ten children, seven girls and three boys. And mother was the oldest girl, and this is the next to the oldest. She looks a great deal like my granddaughter. So... And this was taken in Norway. No, I don't think it was. Okay. How about the next? This is a picture taken of my father. Before he married, he worked in a tanning factory in Grand Forks. And you can see he's been working with uh, belts and chains and all kinds of things. Okay. How about the next one? That's my father again. He liked to dress up. He he liked to dress up and uh, look look well cared for, and that is a picture of him. And how for the next one? Here's another one. He always wore these nice shiny shoes with the um, I forgot what it is across them. Anyway, and there he is leaning on a nice chair. He liked nice things, and he looks very nice, doesn't he? How about the next one? That's my mother and dad's wedding picture. They were married in St. Mary's Church in Grand Forks in uh, 1915. And uh, they look very happy, don't they? Mm -hmm. How about the next one? That's my dad. Just shortly before he ret uh, left the railroad business, he was an engineer on the Grand Forks. Great Northern Railway. And how about the next one? And there he is in one of the new uh, engines that came out, oh, shortly before I graduated from high school. Very new train. It was very good. I think these are the pictures of my dad. Yes, they are. They were taken at the end of the Second World War, which was a war between the United States and Japan and Germany. And dad went, your dad went to the uh, war crimes trials and worked as a photographer and an electrician. And here's something about your dad. He never liked to wear jewelry because he didn't trust it in the, in the car. He thought it got, would get caught on something. And here he's got on rings. So he was a young man then, a very young man. And there he is. Can you tell me the second one uh -huh. of my dad? It wasn't too long after that. He was in the service for a couple of years and then came back to uh, Grand Forks and went to the University of North Dakota. And how about the last one? That's he was still in the service then. Anything else? Pardon? Anything else? In in Grand Forks. He was in Japan and then he came back to Grand Forks. And oh. He was released from duty. Okay. His father wrote on the back of this picture. And he says, this was taken while I was working in booth number three at War Crimes Trials. Notice that I am studying. He's got a book held up and he's smiling at who's ever taking the picture to. It's a nice picture, right? And well, these were the Japanese that the Japanese, were yeah. uh, put on trial and the uh, young men photographed it and ran, ran what they could on it. Some of them that could, 
uh, your dad had quite a bit to do with taping it and uh, things like that. He he was he was very good at photographing, and he liked it. But he also wanted to get back to school and get back to life, so he did not stay any longer than he had to. Okay. Among these other pictures of you, what can you tell me about the stories behind it? Well, this was taken shortly after Dad and I were married. In fact, it's the, before Christmas even. We were married November 24th, 1948, and this was made before Christmas. And on the piano, which was called a foster, it was supposed to be mine someday, it was a, a pedal piano. There were pedals down here and rolls that you put in there. You got music. You didn't do the playing. And these are my two younger sisters, Virgie and Patricia. And there's the wedding picture of my mother and dad. And there's something that will tell you what the temperature is in the house and how much moisture there is. And this uh, statue is called the Umbrella Lady, and I gave that to my mother when I was working at Norby's department store. I used to play the piano, I liked to play the piano. That was our, a good portion of our entertainment was done on that piano. We sang and did all kinds of nice things. Okay, can you tell me about the second one? Well, I can tell you about this picture. It's sad in many ways. This was all try to announce to my parents and George's parents that we were going to be parents also. I was expecting a baby. Unfortunately, I didn't hold it long enough. I lost the baby. But you could see that food was pretty inexpensive then. We lived, this was in Chicago. Dad was going to George Williams College at the time. This was my three-piece suit that I wore for 10 years. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> and clothing was a little, well, it was cheap compared to what it is today. But this was taken, and we kept it because we were very happy that we were expecting the time. But we didn't make it. So there I am. I was 19 years old. No, I was 20. Sorry. 20 years old. Hey, Mom. Can you tell me the story behind me? So these were your pictures that were taken during your baptism. Which was done about two weeks after your birth because we were had to go kind of quickly on things because you weren't feeling too good. But we were so happy because you started feeling well right after you were baptized. So there's something to be said for that. And there's all our family was there, plus uh, Sammy's good friend Chris Brecky was there. And it was down in southern, about the middle part of Maryland, the church that we did not go to, but an old, old church that was very nice. It was a nice service, and the baby was good. The baby was you. That's <laughs> what made it good. Okay. Now, can you tell me about these pictures when I was little? Well, this was when they used to have these little sort of uh, farm things where they'd bring the horses out, small horse, that the kids could ride. And they would have it at the school, generally. So you got on, you are pretty young at that one, maybe two or two and a half years old or three, not more than that. And you could see the small horse. But boy, did you love that. That was fun for you. Can you tell me more about it? Well, and this was a rocking horse that you had. And could you rock that thing back and forth? And whew, I used to think you were going to go flying right over <laughs> the head of it. But you never did. You hung on tight and kept it under control. You were very good at that. Oh. So um, you did lots of nice things, lots of good things.